Okay, so this video I want to explain this issue. See that right there? I'm at a quarter second right now, around there. Let me go back down to go down to a half a second. Even at bulb mode, I get this issue. So the reason this issue occurs. Um, I feel like I could explain it better if I show you the mechanism and how the shutter curtain works. So, I bought this camera off of eBay for 35 bucks. that was non-functional supposedly. And I tore it apart down, all the way down to its basic components. And here's the shutter curtain, this is how it looks like inside. Uh, if I have the camera facing like this, this will be like right here, exactly like this. So you see that little blue gear right there of interest. That is our, one of these is our idler gear, but those gears of interest, that blue gear right there is this gray gear right here that I'm pointing with my pinky. And excuse my setup, but I don't record videos, but I wanted to make this video to show this issue because I never found a video explaining how this works. So when you turn the shutter, like this with your camera essentially when you do this what you what you're doing what you're doing is that you are turning this gear right here let me get this right here everything's out of place this gear right here is connected to your shutter uh your shutter lever and that gear turns this idler gear which is this blue gear right here as you can see as i'm going to turn it they're both turning and then it locks and then release it. So you could do the same thing with your curtain gear. And before I want to preface, you do not have to take your camera apart in order to fix this issue. I just want to show you how this works so you can get a better understanding of what's going on. So what's going on is that let's turn the gear right here. Let's get this camera in focus. Uh, as we turn it, you're going to see the shutter curtain. It's a little hard to turn, but there we go. Right now it's locked and loaded, right? There's two things that happen. First, you have to understand that there's actually two curtains on here. There's one curtain on the left, right here. If this could focus that great. There's one curtain right here, and there's another curtain right here. This one's winded up. So what happens when you fire your shutter is that the first curtain goes all the way to the right and winds itself up right here. And we can do that by moving this little lever right here. Now you can see that, that problem we're having, right? So that first curtain goes all the way to the right and then the second curtain fires. So let me reset this so that we do it without the issue. There we go. As you saw what happened right there, the first curtain went all the way to the right and now it's fully wound up over here. And I did that by moving this tiny, uh, this golden little lever right here. When you push it, it releases the tension that's been stored up in one of the gears and it lets all this be wound back up. Once that happens, let's say you have your shutter dial set to 1 500th of a second later. What happens is one five hundredth of a second later, you see this right here. This right here is a magnet, which attaches, which it's an electromagnet. And it's only connecting when there's power going through it. So one five hundredth of a second later, this magnet is gonna release, it's gonna go down. And what that does is that once it goes down, it's connected to this little uh, arm right here, which pushes, it goes this way and that pushes this little lever right here or this little piece of metal which is connected here through here which goes all the way up to this L I realized I wasn't in the camera it goes through here 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 and then this guy right here and this is where it gets a little hard to show the camera on the bottom if you can see there we go there's this little tiny notch that is connected, essentially holding 
this wound up uh, shaft in place, when you release the notch, it's kind of like locked. Like, let's say this is your notch. It's kind of like this. When you release the electromagnet, this releases and then this goes like that. Like it unwinds the later part. So we can simulate uh, the one five hundred of the second later, the other curtain going by just releasing it like that. So once again, let's reset this like that. Then we're going to push the metal gear, the gold one, the golden lever. Shutter goes out. Let's say you have your shutter speed to one fourth of a second. So that first curtain goes a quarter of a second later, the second curtain goes because the electromagnet releases, right? So what is the issue? What is happening such that when we wind this up, give me a second. So that when we wind this up, we get this issue where we release it and then that happens. So here's what happened. The problem lies that this gear is not rotating fully. You don't fully, this is supposed to go all the way. Sometimes you don't go all the way completely and it causes this issue. However, sometimes even though you go all the way, you still get the issue because the gear is not aligned properly. And what I mean by that. So remember what I said, when you rotate this idler gear this way, you wind up both, uh, both curtains. Our curtain of interest is this one. Remember how I was explaining this lever right here and how it's connected to the shaft. Remember it has this little hook. Here's a, the shaft of the curtain right here. So what's happening right now is that when you wind it up, this starts rotating this way, right? To wind up the thing. And what's happening now is that when you don't wind it up fully, this little notch doesn't reach the, the little key that it's supposed to reach. So what happens is that you're winding this up and then this little notch is about to reach the little key, but it doesn't reach it in time. So when you release the shutter, this goes, this does one rotation and then boom, it lands right here. And in this position, the curtain is only halfway. So I'm going to try to recreate the problem by winding it up just barely like a little millimeter off of position. So watch what happens right here. This guy. I wish I had a better camera to show this, but this guy, once it's, once it's winded up, it's supposed to like, you see it right here, how it's like this, it's supposed to do this, it's supposed to do that because that means the notch connects to the, to the shaft. So I'm going to wind it such that this one grabs, but this one doesn't latch. So you can see what happens. So right there, it grabbed, I heard it grab, but this one didn't latch. Yeah, it didn't latch actually. You see now how like when I click like that, that's because it was supposed to latch, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't turned far enough to be able to latch. So when I released it, um, this thing rotated and on the second turn, it grabbed on. Um, so this time, if I release it, if I push it a little bit more, if I turn this gear a little bit more, this should be able to latch this, this one right here should be able to complete that turn just far enough that it manages to latch and not cast, not cause this, uh, shutter curtain to do that. So if I'm going to do this one and this one, I'm going to push it all the way in. So right there, as you can see, it's in this position two, this position one, this position two. So it lasts this time. So if I release it, now it goes all the way. Let me, let me show you one more time. That way you can see this thing turn when it latches. I'll try to get it in focus as I go right there. So right there, it's winding up. You see how it latched right there? Turned all the way. No problem. Anyways, I want to attend it. How do you fix this? Okay, so now we know that this one's not advancing far enough 
and it needs to advance slightly more in order to be able to eliminate that issue for so that this guy could reach and latch on. So in order to fix that, we go back to our camera. This gear, this blue gear is our gear of interest. If we're looking at it this way, right here, this guy we're turning it clockwise, this way, right? So we needed to turn a little bit more clockwise so that this guy could latch. So in order to do that, we're going to unscrew. There's a screw right here, hidden right here. We're going to screw it a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit. Loosen enough so that we can get this main gear off a little bit. And then we're going to move this one tooth clockwise, just one tooth. So uh, let me get my screw screw right here so we're gonna go in there and be very careful with this because you don't want to bar these screws or anything but just loosen it slightly give it like three turns maybe three and a half turns so now that isn't off to just gear back a little bit and just do it carefully And then we're going to move this one tooth to the right. So right here, let's get this in focus. Please get in focus. We're going to move this one tooth to the right. Like so. And then we're going to get this guy. And push it back in there. So let me check if it did it. Yes, yeah, one tooth all set now. Now before you forget, don't forget to screw this back in. Make sure it's just hand tight. Don't go all the way. You don't want to risk barring that screw. So now, if I load this up, you open that back. It should fix the issue. Let's go to one second. One fourth of a second. One fifteenth. See how now it works completely. The issue is gone. We're going to have faster speeds. Let's do 1 2 50th. And it goes all the way. Maybe 1,000th a second. You can't really see, but that's how you fix that issue. However, I will say, word of caution, this is a temporary fix. This is more like a band aid. If this issue is happening, uh, quite a lot if it didn't happen before and then and now it's happening it's a very good sign that you probably need to do a CLA you're probably gonna need to get some oils and then just oil these up because with this one for example I feel like it's a little bit hard it's not loose enough as it should be so um, I'm gonna do a complete CLA lubricate all this oil the right parts and add grease to the necessary parts but um uh, this is just like a band-aid fix. I would recommend to go and get this um, CLA. I don't know why this is not focusing. But anyways, thanks guys. Um, drop in the comments if you guys have any questions. Thank you.